Monday night storm forced people to pull over in their cars. That's because within seconds, drivers like Tanya Veith found themselves driving through hail. Just as I was pulling around the front of the building, a big one hit my windshield and thankfully was soft enough to scatter. Might have cracked it. Other drivers heading home weren't so lucky. I was trying to get home before the storm hit. Unfortunately, I didn't. Hale shattered the windshield on Jillian Pierce's car, which she had plans to put up for sale. This kind of sounded like I was being hit by a baseball bat. It's just really loud. I called my husband and he couldn't even hear what I was trying to say. Johnson County emergency management workers shared these photos showing damage after the storm and blame high winds. High winds are also to blame for damage here at Con and Gregory in Cleburne. Managers found their oversized garage doors blown off. They searched and found one of the doors in a tree out front. Just like some homeowners, those much needed repairs come with a warning. So we always recommend folks to do a, a search or a check or find somebody that's a reputable contractor. Somebody that, that has a license that's bonded, insured. The top three scam alerts after storm damage are pushy sale tactics like today only offers, out of state workers and contractors with no proof of license. Since this is the start of storm season. Weather used to scare me when I was younger, but I've been a Texan a long time. In Texas, you can count on seeing more storms. In Johnson County, I'm Scoop Jefferson.